So I'm here at Manthorpe Engineering in Derbyshire. I've got a real treat for you now over the next couple of minutes. I'm going to talk you through a machine that they've just recently purchased, which is a Courier Fox 50. Now, they saw this machine at Emo. It was like this, except without the guarding over the top. Uh, and they decided it was the machine for them for many reasons, which I'll touch on now. Firstly, the size of the machine, it's immense. This bridge mill is actually five metres by 3.75 uh, metres in the Y by 1.5 metres in the Z. Um, here they've got an additional fourth axis table added to here, which means that when you put that in conjunction with the head that we're going to talk about in a minute, you can achieve all kinds of angles to do all, all manner of machining operations. Now, what's really interesting here is the, is the part that we see here, this fabricated base that they're machining on it today. Now, you might look at this and think, hang on, that's not really um, you know, the precision engineering that you might expect. Well, it just shows the flexibility of the machine and the reason that they bought it. They want to be able to do big parts like this as well, which they couldn't do before. Now, let's talk about the head. Now, this is a UDX head. This is a, a, a big plus 50 taper head. Now, the great thing about this head is you can achieve, and I'm going to read it, 162 million positions as a result of the double hearth coupling um, positioning technology, which is patented and unique to Correa. Now, there's some advantages to that. The stability, uh, the fact that when you're actually moving to a position and then you're going away to do another operation, when you go back to move to the same position, the technology that they offer with this head means that you will get uh, right back to the exact same point and you won't recut the part like some heads might do when they're repositioning. Now, how do they also achieve that stability? Well, everything you see here in the Z-axis is actually uh, thermally controlled, water-cooled and air-cooled, and it's also a box guideway. Uh, it's a box guideway in the Z-axis here, so you eliminate any vibration um, when you're machining, and you're going to need that when you're machining parts that would fit on a machine of this size. Also interesting is the... Um, the columns on this machine, which are obviously not exposed at the moment, but they are filled with concrete. Now, they're filled with concrete, again, to add more weight and to disperse any vibration when you're machining. Some of the real key points about this machine, which make it um, a real head turner. Now, when you look at the, just the simple things like the swarf, uh, the swarf evacuation, you've got a conveyor here at the front, and there is also one at the back. It's all part of this new look um, here from Correa. They also have um, additional support on the cross beam as well, so that I'm talking about concrete in the columns, but also across the cross beam, they've got four guideways which give them, again, more stability. So that also with the UDX head, which I think I mentioned is a 10,000 RPM, give you a, a, a real, um, a real, well, a fantastic value for money, I have to say as well, when I, uh, when I look at this and see what they paid, in terms of the quality you're getting. Now, this is a Heidenhain 620 uh, panel on here as well for controlling the machine. It's the first Heidenhain they've got in this shop, and the guy was telling me earlier how easy he picked this up. Um, Imagine craning components into here. The access is great, uh, and I tell you what, it really looks like a fabulous machine. They had through spindle coolant fitted to this as well, uh, and a few other options. But if you're in the market for a machine of this size, then it's definitely worth talking to DTS. They, uh, as I say, they saw this at Emo, and it's now here installed. Even uh, even though we've had the pandemic on, it's just um, just about July, and the machine is here in action. It's the Courier Fox 50 from DTS UK.